up, my family? How you doing? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. What's up, fam? Okay, guys. Guys, I got this eye watch from the TikTok shop, okay? This thing is a bad, 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 bad watch. It is so good, guys. It tells you the time, the temperature, how much you weigh, you need to walk, the date. You can answer texts, phone calls, music, everything. It's just like the iWatch, guys, but it's so much cheaper. You don't have to add, add it to a plan. It looks just like the iWatch. You can change these ropes or these um, wristbands um, to whatever your favorite color is. You can change the screen protector. You can put, like, your child, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your parents, whoever you want, whoever is your lock screen, even on your phone, you can put on your watch. And then the box looks like this, guys. The box looks like that. And I know you guys have seen it on TikTok Shop. It is going for $18 on TikTok Shop, guys. It is a good company. I love the watch. It tells you everything, when to drink water, everything. So this is a promo. Go get it, $18. I'm going to link the link below, guys, on my TikTok Shop. Please go support, guys, okay? And guys, keep watching my commercials. You guys almost had me to $100. I'm at $88. 88 right now. That's how much dollars I have. YouTube won't pay you until you reach 100 exactly. All right. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for watching my commercials. Let's say grace and let's get eaten. Dear God, thank you for this food and juice. And pray for this nation. Pray for everybody that is recovering from Hurricane Milton. Just pray for all those people that were lost and pray for all the people that have no homes. This holiday season coming up and just pray that the community comes together and show me how I can help them. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. So we're doing... We are doing grilled cheese. I don't know if that's healthy. Probably not. But we are using fat-free bread. Okay. We are using fat-free cheese. So we'll see how that tastes. And we're using... What would it call them? Something gluten-free... Whatever. So I'm going to try that to see if that helps with my GERD's disease. And I can lose weight. So let me tap it like Tammy does. Tap, tap, tap like Tammy does. And then we have fat-free honey barbecue sauce. Okay. Did we say grace? Yes, we did. Okay. You guys get the first bite. Yum. <laughs> it, ta <clears throat> it tastes healthy to me. But... Ah. Eleven weeks I have to be on eleven weeks I have to be on vitamin D vitamin D three five fifty milligrams. Take one capsule. I don't know why I just fit. Take one capsule cas take one capsule. I can't even speak. Once a week. Okay, so I started yesterday. I'm gonna take one next Monday. It's eleven weeks that I'm on this stuff, okay? And then I want to give you guys a little heads up, a little heads up, a little heads up. This is a big week for me. I love this raspberry crystal light, guys. It's so good. To me, it oh, great, great. It to me, it tastes like grape soda. If you guys remember what grape soda was like back in the day, probably not. But I know Publix has their own brand of grape soda, and so does Dollar Store. Um. But anyways, um, I have my appointment for my leg, guys. They're going to do an ultrasound on my leg. And I did one. <clears throat> I did one in 2020 during the pandemic. I saw this guy, Dr. Uh, Dr. Lopez. That's what his name was. I forget his first name, but his first, last name was Lopez. Um, my mom. Hello? Yes, that was the plate. The large plates and the small plates? Yes. And anything else? Nope, that was it. Right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm, that was my mom. But anyways, um, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so they're going to do an ultrasound on my leg. We're going to see what's on my leg. I did one in 2020. They told me it was just fluid. It was not blood. There was no vein. There was nothing. So 
pray, keep your fingers crossed, pray to God that they can just, this doctor, his last name is Garcia, or Revere, I can't even say his last name, but anyways, just pray that this doctor will help me because I need help. Because I'm, when I lost all the weight, guys, when I got down to 250, right? 2020, 2021, I was in 250, right? Or for three years, actually, it was 22, or four years. I don't know. Anyways, when I got to my goal, my biggest insecurity was one, these, okay? Because these look like man boobs. I'll give it to you guys. They are technically, whatever. They were sagging. And then I had my knot on my leg. And I had no butt. So I was like very self-confident about my body was because my back just was like flat. It looked like I had no dunk a dunk back there, right? Men don't really do butt implants or anything like that. They wear these underwear that try to push up your butt. But honestly, that's all that I lost when I lost all the weight. I did not care. I did not like my nose and I did not like my lips. My lips were big as heck. But anyways... I say all that to say was, pray to God that this guy can just help me because I see him. I go to the do the ultrasound on the seventeenth. That's this Thursday, and then I do my, I do what he found on the twenty third, the following Wednesday. And I don't know how I'm getting to that appointment. I'm gonna have to ask my mom or ask my dad. That'll get tight because they gotta keep they gotta teach a class that Wednesday. But anyway. I'm just like, I'm not nervous. I just hope that he can get this thing off my leg because if this thing comes off my leg, one, I can do leg squats. I can do the climbing machine. I can do squats. I can do all this other stuff without irritating this thing and making me be in pain all day. One, it won't be so annoying when I get in and out of cars, when I wake up in the morning, it won't itch, it won't burn. I won't chafe. I mean, I'm a grown man, right? Potty trained and everything. I'm having to use diaper rash cream to put on this knot because it chafes and it hurts. It gets so raw and it hurts. And I'm like, dude, I feel like I have a diaper rash and I'm putting a diaper, you know, whatever, because I haven't been in a diaper all day or something like that. But this knot is like so annoying. I'm like, dude, I'm using diaper rash that like you would use on like my niece or nephews. It's like, really? But... I'm not the only person who does it. I know there's lots of people that have rashes and have to use it. Because it's not only for babies. Yes, it's sold. Or it's called desitin. It's not only for babies. But that's what I remember using, you know, when you change diapers for people. Because they, some people can sit in it too long and get a diaper rash. Or you get a rash from... Peen, whatever it was, whatever you were doing and like, like you sit in your urine, it'll give you a rash. Even if you're sweating and you don't take a shower for days, you can still get a rash from that. It's like whenever there's moisture on anybody, really, even skinny people have it too. They get it under their armpits. They get it around their neck. They get it in their, like under their, you know, cause some men will work out so much that they get boobs and it's the testosterone or whatever it's called. So then they have sweating and chafing under there. Or people get it between their legs. The ones that are like super, super skinny. Their legs rub together so much the friction that they get burning in there. And, and it's raw. And they have to wear desitin. Or they use the powder. Or they do um, pants that have air coming through them. So they're not like, you know, chafing. Everybody gets it. It doesn't mean it's just only fat people. I hate when people do that. Like they want to put a stigmatism on us. Everybody gets it. I have family members who get it. I know people that have get it. People, celebrities have said it. Um, athletes say it. Um. Anyway, just pray that he can get it off because if he can take it off, I mean. One, I think I'll get emotional because I've had this thing since 2011. That means I was 21 and I looked deformed. To me, I looked deformed. Um, but 
But I don't let it change my personality. I'm still bubbly. I'm still happy. I'm still loving. I still try to care about people. Until you push my my buttons, then you get the evil side of Matthew. But, anyways. So pray for that. That's this Thursday, the 17th of October. And then my appointment is the following Wednesday, the 23rd. So pray that he figure out, he knows what it is. He's like, I got you. Let's do this. I don't care if he can't operate this year. I mean, I would love for him to operate this year, but he, he's like, I can't operate until 2020 or 2025. That's fine. He just got to do it before I go on my cruise. Cause I'm like, do I back out of a cruise to do the surgery? I don't know. I might, I might, I might, or I think he's like, I can do it when you come back. Then. The issue is I'll be lied up in a bedroom. I don't think I'm going to stay here to recover because I just, I, no. I think I would want to stay in a hospital or a rehab, really, whatever it's called, like a rehab place, something like that. Because when I came home, actually, no, I take that back because my mom was really good with help, helping me heal when I came back from surgery. And it said five weeks. Guys, I was up in two weeks. I was I was done in two weeks. I got that catheter out. Me and Jama were having fun. My lungs were hurting. I know I'm rambling, but you guys love my videos. Um, after surgery, I will never forget. After I did my surgery, just not even like we would, me and Jama would just be walking, 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 walking. Not even walking fast, just walking slow. Sometimes I was too fast for Jama and she'd be like, slow down. But anyways, my lungs would hurt and I don't know why. Like I wouldn't even be like doing anything and they would just be like hurting, hurting, hurting. And I told the doctor and the doctor said, well, your body's trying to, you know, catch up to this whole new you and your lungs, you know, because you have asthma have been affected for years. So they just would hurt. Like two months, three months out of surgery, I was in so much pain with my chest. And then it went away as I kept dropping, 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 dropping. So this girl, she's, it's okay. It doesn't have any like. Baboom. It's just like cheese and bread. That's all I'm tasting, really. It's not like baboom. But um, what else was I going to tell you guys? There was something else I wanted to tell you. And then on the 30th of this month, I have an appointment with my primary doctor to see if she can or she'll let me start doing the Manjaro shot so I can lose weight, too. And then there's this other company that I saw that I want to try where it helps you sleep. And it helps you do some other stuff. But keep your fingers crossed. Because I want to lose all this weight before my cruise. I do not want to be this big on the cruise. No, thank you. My last cruise, I was this size. And I was sweating left and right. I had my rag with me left and right. I was just like so like, how can you be attractive if all you're doing is sweating, 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 sweating? You know, and it's like. I didn't have any, like, I didn't even get in the pool. My sister was like, why are you not getting in the pool? It just, I was so, I was so self-confident about my body because of just, you know, and there were fat people on the cruise. I, was, I wasn't the only fat person on the cruise, but it still made me have like a little bit of anxiety about it, but I still had fun. I still had a lot of fun. I'm trying to get my son to go on one. I know he would be scared because he doesn't like water like that. At nighttime, I don't blame him. That is my biggest fear of being. I don't do water rides with whole like the tunnels. I don't do that crap. Um, I don't like water at nighttime. Like I didn't even look at the ocean at nighttime because my sisters, my sister. My brother-in-law and my nephew and my sister, they would all go to bed about 7.30, right? And then I would go to my room because I was like, I don't want to be up here by myself. And then I, you know, hear all the horror stories of people having so much fun, they fall overboard and they don't even know where the body is. So I was like, I'm just going to go to bed. And it was so boring in my room because you have no internet. You have no TikTok, no Instagram, no YouTube. Not, like, I couldn't even film for you guys. You have no... I mean, I couldn't record it and then post it later, but you have no type of 
social media or nothing. And I'm like, dude, how did I survive without this when I was younger? Like, I was so bored. And then the TV just had a bunch of, like, stuff for the crews. And they had, like, two channels. They had, like, the TCM channel with all the old classic movies that I grew up watching. So I watched a few of those. Then they had, like, Cartoon Network. They had Disney Channel. And then they had what was happening on the cruise at that time at nighttime. And I was just, like, so bored. But... I told my son we're going to do carnival next year for my 35th. Like, I would have just came off of the international cruise. And I'm like, we're going to do one for my 36th birthday because he'll be 16. I'll be 36. So I'm like, okay, we've got to do something. So I told him he could, we'll just go on the cruise. I said, if I got to hold your hand to get you on the damn boat, I will hold your hand to get you on the damn boat. I don't care. It's not a big deal. But... I told him there's like a teen nightclub that he can go to that I'm not allowed to go in. Then they have the adult nightclub that he can't go to because he's not old enough. So I said, we'll just, we'll have fun. We don't even have to sleep. The boat doesn't sleep. It really doesn't. It really does not sleep. It's up to you if you want to sleep. That boat does not sleep. Like the, the food part starts to shut down. Like I think the last thing that's open because they play movies on the, the top deck. Almost like the Sweet Life on Deck. Literally, that's how the boat was. I just thought about that. I literally should have been doing the Sweet Life on Deck. That would have been so much fun. But anyways, um, they literally don't sleep. The boat does not sleep. The only thing that's left open is ice cream. All the all the all um all of the ice cream you can eat. I mean, all of it. And then there's like the bars are open that might have chips or the only hot food they might be able to give you is like chicken nuggets. No, a pizza station is open. They have really good slices of pizza. All night long. Really good slices of pizza. No, um, I remember that. So, I told my son we could have fun. There's a gym upstairs. You can walk around. Um, But, yeah, he's scared of that. And I was just like, you got to conquer your fears. Like, when you're with me, let's conquer our fears. Like, we're both scared of heights. So, I'm like, yo, we got to do... One of the tallest roller coasters together and scream whatever. I don't care. We just have to conquer some of our fears. And so he said he was down with that. And then I said, he loves reptiles. So I said, okay, well, we can go. I'm scared of snakes. I'm scared of spiders. I said, I will go. We can conquer. We can conquer one of your fears, one of my fears, and we can just whatever. So we'll see. I'm going to try to blog it. I don't know. I just, I don't know. He keeps saying he doesn't want to do social media, but then he says he would do a video for me. I'm just like, look, make up your mind. Whenever you change your mind, then we'll upload the video. So you guys might not see the video right away, but at least it'll be recorded, pre-recorded. So by the time you guys do see the video, if it doesn't take him until he's like 18 to be like, okay, dad, now I'm ready to do social media. Hell, hopefully I look a whole lot better by that time. But let me shut up because we're at 18 minutes. All right, guys. So go get you your grilled cheese. I didn't even finish. As you can see, I am full. Disney hit me up yesterday, guys. I still have a job with Disney. They said it takes up to six months. But if they can partner me, if they can find a position that fits me really good, they will put me there. And then we basically will just go from there. So they said, do you still want this position? I said, yes. So they said, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I still have a job with Disney to any of my haters. Covers did not pan out. I already got, told you that story about three or four weeks ago or months ago or whatever. So I love you guys. I feel tired. And I will let you guys know how the appointments go. I'm going to try to post one again tomorrow. My parents have that class tomorrow to teach. So I'll try to do another video tomorrow. Thursday, they have therapy. So I'll try to post Thursday. Let, oh, I'll let you guys know how the appointment goes when I come home. Okay. I would try to record it, but it's a little personal. So maybe not. Bye, boy. Bye.